Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'll be working on my English oaks or royal oaks. These oak trees were started from seeds, acorns, and they're very special acorns. The original parent tree was brought over from England to mark the coronation of, I think, King George. I'll show you a, a picture of that. Hi, I'm Nigel Saunders. Behind me is an English oak tree, and this isn't just any old oak tree. This is a royal oak. It's been 80 years now since this tree was planted, and it looks really, really healthy. At the base of this tree, there's hundreds of acorns. I'm going to collect as many seeds as I can and get my royal oaks started as bonsai. The leaves on this tree are incredibly small, so it should make a good bonsai tree. The English oak gets some incredible fall colors. This tree is just starting to turn. Underneath the tree is a plaque that tells you it's a royal oak. The nearby royal oak marked the coronation of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth on the 12th of May 1937. It was provided by the men of the trees from the New Forest in England. Last year in May of 2020, I did the first bonsai work on these seedlings. I did the root pruning and repotting of them to get the roots underway to get that kind of spreading radial root base. And today I'll be working on the tops of the trees. I originally planted three oaks in this pot, but the small one didn't make it. Let's go back in time and I'll show you the root pruning of these two trees. I'm going to start today by repotting my royal oak trees. I've got one big one here another skinny one beside it and I don't know if this one made it. it I think it did so three of them I'm going to repot the Royal Oaks into this 3d printed bonsai pot that I made the file for 3d printing this rectangular pot is available for free on Thingiverse just type in the bonsai zone in Thingiverse and it'll take you to the right spot to download the file the Royal Oak is planted in a mixture of horse manure and peat moss and it's grown really well. So it's time to get everything out of the pot here now. So I'm going to grab the oaks by the base here, kind of pull up. There we go. Everything's coming out in one piece here. But I want to get these royal oaks underway as a bonsai, you know, getting the root base started, a flat radial root base. Up until now, they've just been growing as seedlings in a pot with no, no work to them at all. So. This will be their first steps forward. Okay, so that is ready for root washing, all these three oaks. So all the roots look good and healthy. So we'll take that over to the washing station and get them cleaned up. All right, here I go. There's the little one cleaned up. Put that over here. Here's a look at the roots on these oak trees. And you'll notice that there's just one big tap root that runs down and a few fine roots coming off of it. And I've dealt with these kind of roots before on an oak. What I did is I just cut the tap root in half and then I got a nice fine radial root system developing on the roots that remain. So it developed really nicely and I'll do the same today. All right, so here I go on the roots. I'll start with the smallest one first. And you can see there's a few fine roots coming off at this level. So I'm going to prune that off right here, about in half, just like that. Throw that part of the root away, and this part will get planted. The medium-sized oak will get the same treatment. I'll come in here, right here, prune that away, and I'll plant this part. And then my largest one, it has a lot more fine roots up at the top, so I'm going to be quite daring because I don't want this curve here eventually. So I'm going to come in and prune it off right here. Rather severe, but here I go. And that's what I'll plant. Hopefully it'll survive. Now I will trim some of these longer roots off. I'll just prune those ones off. So that is now ready to plant just like that. These first steps of these little seedlings 
are a little bit scary cutting those top roots, but the seeds just grew all by themselves. All I did was collect the seeds, plant them, and they grew. So there's very little time and effort gone into the seedling at this point in time. So it's not much of a risk. If they don't make it, you plant more and try again. These royal oaks naturally have small leaves. Even on the shoots that have been left to grow and have extended a lot, the leaves are still a fairly small size. On a mature bonsai, you should be able to get the leaves down to about this size. So about the size of a fingernail, very small. The natural leaf size on a tree can determine what size bonsai you want to create eventually. If a tree has really tiny leaves, you can create a really small bonsai and it'll look really good and in proportion. If the tree has very large leaves, then you might want to grow it as a medium to a large size bonsai. Because the leaves are very small on my royal oak, I can grow it anywhere from a very small bonsai to a large one. Everyone wants to grow their oak bonsai to look like the ancient old trees you see in England. The big fat trunks and, you know, big fat branches and a nice canopy on them. However, in my lifetime, that's an unrealistic goal. All I can do with these trees is to create a nice structure to them. And then over the years, they'll develop and get better and better. And then someday someone can take it over and eventually it'll look like a really ancient old oak tree. For me, the fun of bonsai is the development of the trees. That's why I started these oaks from seeds. Generally, the larger the bonsai, the more time it takes to develop the tree. If I wanted to create an oak bonsai this high, it would look good in a shorter period of time than if I wanted to create an oak bonsai this high. The eventual height you decide to grow your tree to may be a factor in determining where your lowest branches are. You can see on this oak, I've got branches coming down right at ground level back here. Some very low branches on the tree. That's fine if I want to grow a clump style oak bonsai, but if I want to show trunk, you know, a portion of trunk on the tree before the first branch, then these lowest ones would have to be removed. If I'm growing this tree as a fairly large bonsai, I might want to make these branches up at this level, my lowest branch and have this all trunk. So I would remove all these lower branches and keep these ones. If I wanted to grow it as an even taller bonsai, I might get rid of these lower branches here and start my lowest branch way up here. Bonsai is always a trade-off. These lower branches that are on the tree now help thicken up the trunk. However, when you prune them off, they may leave some fairly big scars. To thicken up the trunk on a bonsai, you need growth and lots of it. A nice bonsai has a big difference between the thickness of the growing tips, the very fine branches, and the trunk, which you know can be quite large. And that difference makes a bonsai tree really impressive. I really like the natural bark texture on the English oak trees. So when I show my trunk, the bottom part of the trunk, I don't want any pruning scars where I've removed branches. So I'm inclined to remove these lower branches earlier instead of letting it help thicken up the tree and getting more taper. So I've got to decide a height for my tree now where I'll position my lowest branches. And I'm thinking, you know, this is a good height to maybe have the tree eventually, you know, half a meter high. So I'm thinking my lowest branches should be at least kind of to this level. So all these lower ones can be removed. If you look at the lower part of the trunk on this tree, you can see how these lower branches help thicken up the base of the tree. And then as I go up, there's no branches in this section, so it kind of remains skinny. And maybe I'm getting too much taper in this area, that it's too thick down here and not thick enough up here. So I think removing these lower branches will help kind of get my trunk to an even thickness. The uh, root pruning will give me that flare of the trunk at the base. So the trunk will come down and then it'll get all these nice flared roots into the soil. All right, I'm going to begin 
the branch pruning. So I'm going to grow this tree as a medium sized bonsai. So there's that lowest branch down here. So I'm going to trim that off like that. Then I'll come in with my concave pruners and just make that flush like that. That looks good. Next, I'll come up here and prune this one off like that. Again, I'll prune it flush. Now there's a really thick one here I'm going to take off like that. I pruned off the lowest branches now. So now my lowest branch is at this height, which is still fairly low. I think I want to go higher. So I'm going to take this one off. This little one back here. A little cleanup work there. Which brings me up to here. I think, you know, if you imagine a trunk this thick, that would be a good height to start my trunk. One third of the bonsai is usually the trunk. Another third, the major branch structure. Another third, the canopy. So that, that's pretty good. So now I'm going to balance this crown. I've got a leader coming off of this branch that's growing really vigorously. So I, I want to knock that vigor back. So I'll, I have a little side branch here. So I'll prune it back just above that, like that. That gets the canopy of the tree in check. And I think that concludes the pruning on this first tree. All right, let's start on the second one now. It'll be the same procedure on the second tree, removing these lower branches. So here I go. There's that bottom one. And there's a dead or dormant one there that wasn't getting light. A few little ones. And a bit of cleanup on this lowest branch here. Like that. I'll clean this one up. Like that. So this branch is still too low. I'll take that off. This one's too low. They have to come off. This one's too low. This one's too low. And then I'm coming up to a whirl of branches now. These ones here. Here's a view of those branches. So they're here. Ideally, I want my lowest branch, you know, maybe somewhere here, but there's nothing in between there on the tree. So my next highest branches are up here. That's, that's quite a distance. You know, if you think that's a third of your tree, third, third, it ends up being a very large bonsai. So I think I'm going to have to go with developing the crown from these branches at this height. I think that'll be fine. These branches come out all at the same point and it's already thickening up the trunk in this area. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven branches coming from that one point. So I want to reduce that. I want to pick my best branches and there'll be upright branches that flow upwards. I don't want horizontal branches that gives a tree that kind of a pine styling. I don't want that. So I'm going to keep my best upright branches. So definitely this more horizontal one underneath the other one here can come off like that. There's another one, a double ladder branch here. The lower one can come off. So now I've got I've got two major branches. I'll just take this little one off. So I only want to keep one. And then, you know, have the tree. It's got to divide somewhere. So I've got to pick my best branch. I would say this one. This one has the best angle. It's tighter to the trunk. This one's more flat. So I'm going to keep this as my first branch. So this one will come off. The little one behind will come off that one will come off leaving just my one branch hopefully you know something will develop up higher so I get a bit of a staggered crown to the tree so now I've got this big expanse with no branches on it 
and something might develop in this area eventually. What I want to do is I want to reduce the height of the tree, taking, keeping this as my leader and pruning the top off. And that should stimulate some back budding down lower in the tree and I'll get more choices for branches in the future. So off comes the top of the tree. So I'm going to keep this branch here. Here I go, like that, big cut. So now I've got, I've got two branches here. I'm going to keep my top one, so I'll remove the lower one, like that. And I've got a branch here if I want to keep it. And that is about it for that tree. Some severe reduction to my English oaks. This is step two. The first step in creating a bonsai out of these seedlings was to prune the roots and get the flat radial root base underway. The second step was determining the height of the tree and my eventual style and my lowest branches. So they're on their way. So for the rest of the summer, I'll just let them grow and we'll revisit them in spring. I have a very exciting day tomorrow. I'm heading to see David's bonsai collection to video the trees. David has some fantastic trees. He has exhibited trees in the U.S. National Show and he has trees on the permanent display at the Montreal Botanical Gardens. It's time now for today's updates. I'm going to start today's update by looking at the cashew seedlings. They are beginning to move. So let's go in here, look at these. They look like monsters coming out of the soil. So really cool. I definitely planted too many in that pot. Here's another look over here. That one's developing really nicely. That one's doing well. Here's some more here. The cork bark jades are still looking okay. The leaves haven't plumped up on them yet, but I'm hoping it'll happen. It did on the trees that Ashley sent me. They're looking really good. So there's some more cashews over there. Here's those seedlings that I was 100% sure they were baobabs. And then they looked small and I thought, well, maybe it's just, you know, they're not as strong as some of the others. And then I was looking at them and the leaves are serrated. And if you compare that to my mystery seeds over here, they're exactly the same, exactly. So somehow I must have got the seeds mixed up. So these aren't baobabs, they're those mystery seedlings. But I did get two baobabs, that one right here and the one over here from the Hawaiian baobabs. So I saw the uh, video where the seeds were picked, the seed pods. I ate the fruit and planted the seeds. So that's kind of exciting. So at least I got two out of those Hawaiian baobabs. My wild almond tree here is doing really well. It's got strange kind of leaf formations at the top. I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe that's just the way they grow. I'm not sure, but it had that down lower and all these lower leaves have straightened themselves out. So that's good. The little pines are doing well. Uh, the cuttings from the French lilac, some of them look like they're going to make it. Some of them, maybe not. Like this little one here, looks like it's budding out. This one's got buds on it. But I don't think all of them will make it. But that's okay. You take what you can get. Here's some more cashews over here. Look at that. That's really cool. Big thick trunk on it. Yeah, they look like something from the movie Alien hatching out of the soil. Really cool. So I think I'll probably end up with 100% germination success rate with the uh, cashews. There's one of the new ducks there. That's from this spring. Hi, hello. She's very shy. If it's a she, I'm not sure. It could be a he. Hello. Looking good. Speaking of the French lilac, let's go have a look at it. Growing here by the Eiffel Tower. 
<laughs> there it is. So it's doing really well. You can see there's all kinds of new growth on it. So I would say, you know, it's got one, two, three, four sets of leaves on it. When it grows a little taller, it'll be time to prune it once again. So maybe in another week or two. But it's looking really good. Over here, I have a couple of succulents. These are the remains of the jade that Scott Winter from Let's Do Bonsai sent to me. Uh, the original tree was rotting up the trunk, so I took cuttings off the top, and they've rooted, and they're growing really nicely now. So that's cool. And over here, I have the pencil cactus, the really small ones. Some people call them fire sticks because they, I don't know, they turn red in the sun, I believe. They're doing well also, so I'm really happy with those. Really cool. My city penjing here is continuing to grow really well. Nice small leaves on these tiger bark ficus. And I'm getting a lot of roots growing across the surface of the moss in here. Uh, these trees are providing shade now for the moss and it's keeping the humidity level in the soil and uh, the aerial roots are growing like crazy. You can see them growing across here. So, yeah, that'll also need pruning eventually. I'm letting them grow a little more and then I'll cut them back hard and let them grow once again. Just keep repeating that process. But yeah, the houses are getting shade in there now, which is kind of cool to see. My sarissa is growing well after its last pruning. It's really filling in nicely. And my baobabs that I germinated last year are doing really well. Growing taller and getting a bit of a woody trunk on them now, which is pretty cool. My cathedral style thuja here is doing really well. I gave it quite a hard pruning in spring and I wondered, oh, is it ever gonna look lush and green again? And now it is, it's come back really nicely. The branches are better. The structure's better underneath all that foliage. So yeah, I'm really happy with this tree so far. It's looking quite nice, I think. My lemon bonsai is doing really well. I've got all kinds of new growth up top here. I think, I think I did a Hail Mary cut on this branch and you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five branches coming off of it now. Really exciting. So I've been pinching these tips. So you can see this one needs pinching. So I'll come in, just pinch the top off, smell it. It smells really citrusy. I'll do the one over here too, just to keep these branches short and under control. There, smell that too. Ah, oh, it smells lemony fresh. I'll pinch this one also. Pinch the tip off like that. And that'll keep those branches kind of short and compact. My sequoia seedlings are still doing well. Let's go down and have a look at them here. Hopefully you can see them there in the sunlight. Yeah, they look like they're doing well. I think these ones are going to survive at least, at least this summer anyway. I'm gonna try and get them through the winter successfully. My ficus, my uh, ficus fancy here, all kinds of aerial roots forming on it. You can see there from that cut point, there's aerial roots growing down now. And these are, the, these are the kind I really like, the ones that cling to the other roots. So they'll eventually fuse and blend in. There's another root in here that you can see is growing along, you know, the existing root base. That's well, how all these started. They just grew along the surface of the trunk and then they thicken up and fuse, fuse together. But there's roots all over the surface of the soil, even over the, even over the edge of the pot here. The upper part is growing really strongly now too. Let me move back so you can see it. Yeah, so there it is. The Delonyx regia is growing like crazy. Fantastic tree. Yeah, really looking good. Getting a woody trunk on it. Yeah, doing well, doing really well. One last update for today. Here's the willow leaf ficus. Doing really well. The leaves look nice and healthy. It's doing well. 
The Brazilian rain tree beside it is all closed up for midday. It's also doing really well. It's starting to grow now. Hi. Hi, girls. These girls always come over to me and they want me to feed them berries. They love their gooseberries. Don't you? You love your gooseberries. Hi. I don't have any right now, sorry. I know you love gooseberries. Do you want me to get you gooseberry? I'll get you gooseberry. Over here are the giant gooseberry bushes. So I can just reach over the fence here. And there's a nice ripe one. Oh, there's a whole bunch in here. I just love these things. Yeah, it's just loaded with gooseberries. See them? And they're so good. Okay, I'm gonna eat the two ripest ones. These ones here. Mmm, delicious. And the other ones can go to the ducks. Girls! Here you go. Here you go, I got, I got berries. You ready? There's another one. Another one for you. There. They're good, aren't they? <laughs> That's all I have. I don't have any more. Sorry. I wish I had more, but I don't, see? It's always hard pruning off the nice green foliage on your bonsai, reducing it to a stick. But you have to think of the future. It'll grow in eventually and someday become a nice tree. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>